A slip of the tongue. Welcome back to L.A. Noir, Detective T. Martin back on the case, and, uh, let's see what we're getting into today. Phelps, Bukowski. B-Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on okay. it, Captain. Okay. Oh, it's a stolen vehicle. I was gonna say, what's a Kaiser Fraser? I swear, the more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not <laughs> sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word. So the hot sheet must be like a, a list of known stolen vehicles or something. Sounds like one of the, the street cops kind of found it. Detectives are on the case. Let's go find out what's happening here. Who knows, man? Last last case we had a uh, what looked like a hit and run turn into a homicide with some foul play and some just craziness happening. So you never really never really know what you're gonna get. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? So Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having her death strewn all over the front page of life. Some of these LA drivers are crazy, brother. Switching lanes with no blinkers, no nothing. Gotta be careful out here in these streets. Get around these guys, and it looks like, uh... This is the address of the the place where it was found, a green Fraser? Kaiser Fraser? Hmm. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Oh. Got a bit of a car chase happening Remember, here, huh? We need him healthy enough to answer questions. Alright, so we gotta, gotta take him down. Detective Phelps but not hurt him. immediate backup. In pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Here we go, baby. Woo. Homie is flying. We're going to have to do some damage to the wheel wells. Enough game, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it, baby. Get up there. Get up there, Trev. Come on. Ah! Got him. Took his door off. All right. Let me, let me get a little... Let me get a little slam piece from the left here. You had enough yet, buddy? I think he's had enough. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the up. speed limit. Give it up, LAPD. <laughs> get break Out of the car now. Oh. Seem to be in a hurry there, playboy. Why did you run from us? Mr. Sweater Vest. I the car in my rear view mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Hmm. Coombs Automotive Company. Looks like we'll Sale have date. questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. On January 11th of 1947 to Cliff Harrison at 7, 7 a.m., Paid uh, twenty four hundred dollars, fifty bucks for a radio, one dollar for a lighter. Total of twenty four fifty. Uh, Nineteen forty one Fraser, Manhattan. Yeah, this. I mean, this checks out. It's a bill of sale. If I've ever seen one. Interesting. Let me you ask you a couple this questions. Car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it was on his bill of sale, so I trust him. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Hmm. Automobile California Certificate of Ownership. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Cliff Harrison, West Street, body type. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good to me. Why were you running? You a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. I don't think I trust him. He seems... He seems like a good kid, but I don't know if I... Do. You wouldn't run like that if you knew you weren't up to no good. You better give us something, Cliff. A 
we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. <laughs> How much? <laughs> One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Just a single reefer. I don't feel like he should be in trouble though, you know what I mean? Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Watch his facial movements. Seems pretty confident in that answer. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. So it sounds like we need to go cross-reference that then. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Yeah, let's go see if this checks out. He seems like a good kid, though. You know what I mean? I, I trust him there. I don't like that he was running from the cops. So that's kind of a kind of a bad thing. But at the same time, Some I do the most convincing I trust people him. you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> If that ain't a fact. But yeah, it, it sounds like somebody could be forging papers. They might be trying to like sell vehicles twice. I know that's a big, a big thing. And he seemed like a clean cut kid. Uh-huh. I get it, man. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? <laughs> yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. <laughs> I mean, that's how, it, that's how it works, the crookedness of some of these cops out here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, that's a big thing, isn't it, where people will, like, sell stuff and then, like, try to sell it again. I'm pretty sure, is it Fernando Alonso? Is, he's an F1 driver. I'm pretty sure his mom was caught up in something like that. Like, uh, this, this is a pretty common, like, illegal scam. Not common, but it, it happens, you know what I mean? So, it's going to be interesting. Let's go have a talk with Coombs. Cross-reference the, the paperwork here and see if we can get down to the, the bottom of this. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Uh, I'm not looking to buy a car, my man. LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. <laughs> That's a joke, son. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember right. Man like, knows his stuff. Sale. It's in my office. Walk this way. This guy's a bit of a character. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> you know, I might just beat you to it, my man. I don't know. Car salesman, dude, you can't trust him. He does seem like a nice guy, though. I mean, I always think that people are nice. You know what I mean? Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. I don't know about there that There it one. is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Okay. So let's take a look at this. I don't know that I looked at the other one too closely. Gene Whoa. Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Let me see what this is. That must be the original pink slip. Coombs Automotive Company. Cliff Harrison. Yeah, this is a copy of the same one. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Yep. Huh. Okay. Same thing there. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. He's blinking a lot. He's blinking a lot, a lot. You need to give us something, Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. 
Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. Okay, we might have gotten that one wrong. Gene Archer. Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. <laughs> okay, he, he seems like he's being straight up. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. This guy's suave, man. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Uh, I don't know, dude. Do you trust him? This one's hard. He, he's hard to read. I think I'm going to use an intuition. We've never used an intuition point. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. 98.7 players chose a correct answer after using an intuition point. All right, let's do it. Well, that didn't help at all. I, I, I wasn't going to accuse him of anything. I don't think he's telling the truth. I'm, I'm going for it. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. <laughs> shoot this guy, please. I gotta like this guy. Day, Mr. Okay, we were two out of three there. That wasn't bad. He uh, he was just really hard to read. He's a very eclectic person. Looks like the game wants us to head on over here to the, uh, what was this thing called? The something well? I, I don't remember. Call into the operator and see what's up. One, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. Relay the information. Any messages? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. Okay, so it sounds like that's probably going to be our next objective. Wonder how we brought him in. There's a lot of characters here and a lot of stuff going on. It's making it making it fairly difficult to follow. Where's our car at? Over here on the street. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. A lot of moving parts here. I don't know that I'm really necessarily following so far. We don't want to go to Coombs. Do we want to go to Fremont or do we want to go to the police station? Fremont is, uh, that's, that's where the, the, uh, Archer's ownership papers were, right? Yeah, the original... The original owner was Jean Archer of 146 North Fremont. So if we could find out where she, like what 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 she's got going on, maybe we can find out why this car was like sold or not. I, I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit confused. If you want me to be honest, so let's let's just go there. We we know that that she's linked somehow. So let's set this as the destination, and we're gonna find out uh, what's going on with this. Here's chick. a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole. You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. It's not a bad idea. I didn't think he was that annoying, though. I thought he was kind of charming. A little bit sleazy, but charming nonetheless. Alright, so we're going to be coming on up over here. 146 North Fremont. This is a construction yard. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. Now I'm just even more confused and that, I mean that... Gene Archer is, is definitely, definitely up to no good. Probably would have been nice if, uh, if Mr. Coombs could have kind of looked into this a little bit more. But, you know, as he said, if he's got a paycheck coming in, he's, he's a used car salesman. He's going to look the other way to, to get that sale. So definitely something sketchy afoot. Definitely have no idea what's going on as of right now. Woo. Dude, trying to make it through some of these intersections without hitting any cars is, is low-key one of my favorite parts of this game. Alright, we're back. 
So now you're going to conduct an interview with a new suspect that was randomly arrested off the street, and we don't know how he's involved. Velasco was prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car, and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Somebody's got to be forging these papers, man. James Belasco. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Okay, yeah, I'm not playing like this. You're going to tell me what's up, bro. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Ah, so this guy is involved. What's your association with Gene Archer? Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Hmm. I don't, I don't believe you. I know she's involved. She's got fake addresses and stuff like that. Is there anything we could hit him with here? Cliff Harrison. Could we do the fake address? But that doesn't really link to him. Velasco's ownership papers. I feel like maybe... Because his, his papers are the same as hers. They're, they're forged. We know that. So we could do that. I'm going to accuse him. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. How do you know it's a broad? Maybe it could be a guy named Gene. I think... Uh, I think the fact that the ownership papers are similarly forged is probably it. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? To be honest, I didn't even know it was the same, the same address, but we'll take it. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Every word coming out of your mouth is a lie. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Okay. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Is he lying? I feel like he might be telling the truth. I also feel like he's lied this entire time. We definitely can't accuse him of anything. I also feel, I, I kind of feel like he's lying. I'm gonna go with my gut. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up, now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid, and we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word, and so will the DA. Okay, that wasn't so bad. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker, I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball, Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Gordon Lightvolt, proprietor at Marquee Printing Company, 323 Aliso Street, L.A. Oh, the story just keeps getting deeper, dude. I'm... Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Apprehend Gene Archer. Let's go get her. Oh my gosh, I was just gonna say, dude, there's so much happening, there's so many clues, so many things going so many different ways, there's some sort of a big auto 
fake selling, scamming Try thing. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll try, bro. There, there's something big going on. I just, I, I, I don't have the answers yet. This is definitely, definitely tough. She's over here. Western Union office, 4.14 p.m. What's she doing at a check cashing payday loan place? Huh. Hello, Hello miss. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about this stolen the car. The you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. And that paperwork was fraudulent. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. <laughs> I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. This chick's weird. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? <laughs> what? You said his name, you dumb... <laughs> what? You're lying. <laughs> James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. Wow, you're stupider than you look. Let's talk about uh, how... Your papers have the same as his. The same Let's address. The light of me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that's Bigelow. It. Interesting. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. Absolutely not. What have I got to do? Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. All right, we've got an address. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you can go to the station. We've got a car waiting outside for you. <laughs> Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivated. Yo, roasted. This guy for real. <laughs> he takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. Yeah, she's not, she's not cut out for a life of crime, bro. She... Brought light on this entire situation and then gave our gave herself up in the first couple of, of sentences. It's not not the brightest uh, brightest bulb, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So now we're gonna go to 58 Industrial Street. Do we wanna? No, we don't have to talk on the phone. I was thinking maybe like call some backup or something, but um, nope. 58 Industrial Streets. Or do we want? Ooh, do we want to go to Marquee Printing first? They've got to be involved in this, right? Yeah, we're 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 gonna go here first. Let's try to let's try to get the whole story before we we go and be too hasty in the big uh, the big warehouse full of baddies. Uh, I mean, the, the the company that's that's forging these pink slips and 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 you know faking them and stuff. They they've got to be involved. There's no way she was getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. <laughs> and what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Blondes, huh? I feel you, bro. Man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. And there's nothing wrong with a good red. <laughs> But I draw the line at gray. Hey, you know what? they need love to too. That embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. 
The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. But yeah, these, these guys have to be have to be involved somehow. They're forging these things. She's bragging about having like legitimate papers as long as you didn't you stick to your story and stuff like that. Like there this Gordon guy or whatever his name was has to be involved. Marquee Printing Company. Can I talk to you? One of the outside workers might have something to we'll no. someone else, huh? And what can I do for you, gentlemen? Hello, sir. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. All right. So he's the manager. It's kind of odd that he immediately has an excuse in forgery, you know what I mean? And he says that nothing's been stolen, so either he's Mr. doing Lightball, it or... we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Hmm. I'm going to use my intuition. I'm going to use my, I, I think he's lying, but I'm going to remove an answer. Ugh, it's always the accused. I think he's lying. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. Changing his tone now. used car lots for selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Hmm. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. I want to trust this guy. I really do. You sure Shit. you don't know either of them? Never heard of either gentleman. I don't think that one was right. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. I'm pretty sure you can. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. I mean, he just, he doesn't, he doesn't strike me as like a, a crazy guy or a bad guy. You know what I mean? Well, I trust you've got all that you need. Okay. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Patterns, Frank and Miller, Stephen Hubert, Chemicals. Ooh, fi 58 Industrial Street, Bigelow, Bigelow. Bigelow at 58 Industrial Street. Bigelow, okay. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Hmm. <laughs> got him. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. I feel like we've got him pretty much pinned here, but I guess technically there's no, like, real proof. <laughs> besides the word of... of a thief, so I, I don't know if we can necessarily go off that. I think our next thing is going to be to go to 58 Industrial Street. Let's go ahead and set this as our destination and uh, see what we've got going on there. Supposedly, this is going to be a warehouse full of goons, so I'm hoping we don't have any issues. I'm hoping, uh... Hoping it's just going to be clean. We're going to be able to go in there, have a talk with them, have a nice little chat, maybe a tea party. Got a feeling that's probably not going to be the case, but we can we can hope. Looking for 58 South Industrial. Whew, we are flying. Get skinny. Got a bit of a side swipe there, but we're all right. Whew. Cut through here, dude. This is a long trek, huh? The driving feels so good in this game, man. Ah, ah. We're good. Whew. Oh my goodness. I love how he doesn't have anything to say to us right now, bro. We're driving like a maniac in a good way. We're wheeling it, bro. 
He always talks about us when we start running into stuff, but then when we do a good job, we don't get a compliment. Unifold metal, or manifold metals. Sorry, unifold, what was I looking at? We should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flesh her down here. I thought you Marines were gung-ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Cole oh, Phelps, boy. LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. We're already getting shot at. Throw out He's the down. Guns. I think. Get down here. He's down. Got those guys down. There's one back to the left as well. One to the left, one to the right. Oh, shoot. Close left. Got him. That's a headshot. Is that our is that our partner over there on the right? I think that might be our partner actually. We got somebody behind this car. I'm here, bro. I don't even see him. Oh, I see his head. Weapons got him. Now. Is that it? Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Okay. I heard something. Ah, hello, sir. All right, all right, don't shoot. You the boss man? Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Huh. Got, got a clue here. What is this? Marquee Printing Company. Delivered to Stephen Bigelow. Marquee Printing Company. There's nothing like going direct to the source. So Gordon Lightfall definitely died. I mean, th this this is proof that, that Gordon was involved. Okay. Interesting there. What is this? Santa Anita. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Okay, so he must be trying to... Trying to repay his debts or something? I don't know. What's happening? We have over here... Some pink slips from Marquee Printing Company, blank ones. There are slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Well, where'd your supply come from? about Marquee Printing? You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem in that. What? There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Whew. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightball, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. No, he's not. You're right. He has no luck. Yeah, you're you're lying. I. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow. Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? He's literally on the, the paperwork that you had. Like, you've, you've been taking deliveries from him. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand. If the feds find out, contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. 
Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. <laughs> we got him. Cook him and book him, baby. So now we've got proof, definitive proof, like he just admitted to us that Lightball is involved. And he's like the big head honcho of the thing. So now we're going to have to go back to Marquis. And we're going to try to uh, try to arrest him. Who knows if he's going to have more goons out there or what. But we are always up for the challenge. It was kind of a fun one. We haven't really had any, any shoot him up missions so far. So that was interesting. So we're going to go back to Marquis Printing. Go ahead and set our destination. And off we go. What a mess. Oh, gotta take some cleaning up. Look out! <laughs> Sorry about your bike. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. I mean, to be honest, I don't think they got that sloppy. I guess you could say they got sloppy in hiring that chick. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. We almost just... Oh. That was crazy. But seriously, I, I mean, they didn't get sloppy. She's the one that got sloppy. Granted, they probably shouldn't have trusted her, to be honest. But um, you're only as, as good as your weakest link. Back in marquee printing. He's still in there. I wasn't expecting that, dude. I thought 100% he'd be gone. He was smart, he would have been. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. To think I liked you, man. I really wanted to believe you. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. So we're going to have to accuse him. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof or I call my attorney. Um, would the box of pink slips work? I mean, technically that didn't have his name on it. The debts would work. Testifies to Lightfall. Yeah, let's let's go You're with in the, the hole with the organization. When he you testified, that's Lightfall. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, You're Lightball. getting booked, son. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. All right. Seems like a pretty solid... The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Let's Damn go. Fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. I'm going to have to put in for a promotion here soon, son. We've been going ham. Turning out nationwide cases at this point. You got to get me off the traffic stuff, sir. You got to get me in something more important. 17 out of 18 clues. 17 out of 19 questions correct. A little bit of damage, but overall a very solid day. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. And uh, peace out. Oh, wait. We've got a, a little flashback here. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took 10 years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. 
Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. 